This is the no tag for ASMR. This little Winscape Adam T. Um, question one, Kaka Picard. Um, I don't watch Star Trek. Um, not too much of it, at least. See this really quick and easy. Um, number two, Warrior Three Pickled. Warrior. I think I could do beef. Um, that'd be kind of hard to do though. Um, griddle. Um, I'm too big for that. I'm not a little sneaky. Wizard. I could get some other kind of ones, but warrior all the way. Um, I think for subject in school. Um, science and English. Science is my strongest subject, I think, um, in school. Graduated with extra credit, credit, and I've never failed science class. So English, I only failed in all the schools. I kind of transferred it really quick. I was kind of bad for that part. Um, I had a lot of pet peeves in English class. There'd be some people that were like, "Oh yeah, I can read and write. I'm great at that." Um, but being like breaking. Would your patrons be? Um, probably wolf. Um, I consider myself more of a roamer than most people think. Um, how else? I need. I don't know. I was always sort of singled out in a group of friends. I was never really part of like a party or anything like that. Um, when I was younger, I kind of was, but as far as like high school or middle school go, I wasn't. because I didn't want to go or I really didn't feel like going anyway, but I was never really told, you know, there's a party this weekend, you want to come? Like, I was like, sure, man, let's go. Um, favorite superhero? Um, Hellboy, Wolverine, and Ghost Rider. Um, I don't know why. Um, Ghost Rider is just The whole look about him, like the whole biker feel, is kind of cool. And then skull on fire is just awesome. Hellboy, for various reasons, because he's just he seems to have his own morals, I think. And I think that's kind of cool that no matter how evil you're supposed to be, I think, or no matter how evil you may be, you still have your own personal morals. You know, you still have your own beliefs to sort of guide you through life in a better way, I guess. Um, that, I just think that's kind of cool, the story behind them or whatever. I don't know, I think that's, yeah, like, no matter how evil you're supposed to be or how evil you are now, or how evil you were anyway, you still have your own morals, you know, and I think that's kind of cool about him. I really do. Oh, Lone Wolf Factor, I like it. <laughs> um, Star Trek or Star Wars? Like I said, Star Trek or Star Wars. I'm definitely into the old Star Wars. Uh, the original Star Wars. The sequels, I guess they're called. More than the prequels, just because the prequels are kind of, eh. You know, I mean, the first one was, I wasn't impressed. Like, the, the Phantom Menace, I wasn't really impressed with that one. Darth Maul was the most entertaining part of it. Um, other than the lightsaber, which is awesome, you know, since we're learning to be idols. Um, episode 2, I was indifferent with that one, and then episode 3, I was kind of like, okay, that was kind of cool. Um, but anyway, uh, Marvel or DC? That's one of those questions where I just think, you can't tell me to pick that one. You can't tell me to choose between the two. Each side has such good stuff, you know, and Marvel really shows the heroic side and DC shows the dark side of heroism um, sometimes, so I think they're both interesting in their own respect, um, so I gotta say both, you know, in a way, but I 
do like some Marvel heroes better than some of the DC heroes, but the villains on DC are like a lot better. I like the villains on DC better. Um, what unsports related way can I keep in shape? I don't eat too much. Um, walks sometimes. I if I can, if I'm near a beach or whatever, I'll go for a walk on the beach. I don't know why I like that. It's pretty cool. Um, especially in like if it was the early morning or in a like late evening or something, that's always a nice time to do it. And I can like if you're near a beach, obviously I don't want to get too close to a beach. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah. What is your dream career choice? Probably acting. Yeah, I I'd like to be an actor. You know, I I've done a few little commercials when I was a kid, and I was pretty good at it. You know, um, and my dad made some really cool short films uh, a few years back when I was in middle school, I think, and I was involved with um, being one of the bit parts, but um, unfortunately that part was cut out and the movie didn't do as well as we thought it would. You know, there was a couple little awards at film festivals locally, but um, nothing like, like, oh, you should hire talent from these guys or whatever, you know, obviously. But obviously if they didn't see me, oh, well, they would pick me. There's really a lot I would like that. Um, favorite video game. Like there's a few that I like. What else? Actually, I want to go classical as one of them. Um, Nintendo 64 or Goldeneye. No matter who you are, if you didn't play Goldeneye on Nintendo 64, you do not know gaming. <laughs> um, you do not know what fun it is. And if you did play it and you didn't like it, you're not my friend. No, I'm just kidding. You are my friend. Um, hopefully. I'm just kidding. But, you know, it was a fun game. I don't know what was so fun about it. It's, I guess in my childhood it was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, but, obviously I also like stuff like Grand Theft Auto and uh, um, some of those um, Tekken. I really like that. One of my favorite fighting games, and I think it's a good game to find if you know just a fighting game. Definitely a lot deeper than you look on everything. I think you just kind of have to find it. I'm a, I'm just that kind of person, you know. I find a deep meaning in everything, and yeah, that's kind of the person I am. Favorite author? Um, I really like Johnson Maxwell. He's more sort of. Um, leadership teacher type thing um, with his books it's not like fiction or anything like that but you know um, but it's more sort of inspirational writing and stuff um, and I really like some of the style of writing he does um, it's kind of admirable to sort of hear these different stories of people who are like just completely down and out and then they just rose back up and he's a Christian writer, but I, I mean, that doesn't change the fact that his books are really good, you know? Um, but, um, it's one of my favorite authors. Um, I think S.E. Hinton for fictional writing is one of my favorites as well. And the person I wrote, Henry Wright Hubbard, is definitely one of my all time favorites from my childhood. Indie band, favorite indie band. I don't listen to mu indie music or really any band music. You know, I don't listen to like. Um, I don't really listen to too many bands, and if I do, half the time it'll be from the 80s, um, like Motley Crue or someone like that, and then other times it'll be like modern rock and at times hip hop, but I don't know too many indie artists that I listen to, and if I do, I probably miss them, but. I'm mostly an instrumentalist soundtrack guy. I really like listening to soundtracks from films and games and T 
easy it's not um, it's how it's an amazing soundtrack I listen to it all the time it's like two steps from hell it's one of my favorite instrumental mm-hmm. bands the more kind of a orchestral symphonic type thing but still pretty awesome dubstep I listen to on occasion as well if I find a really awesome sounding song nerdiest thing about wrestling I guess the whole deeper meaning thing. Like, I don't know if you consider that a nerdy thing. I don't know if you consider that nerdy. If you consider that, um, I don't know what you're trying to like do with that. But I don't know. <laughs> but that's one of the nerdiest things about me. But the other one is sort of just always being easily embarrassed. I think. I think that's one of the most. Probably the nerdiest thing about me is just <laughs> being so easily embarrassed at that kind of thing. Um, okay, next question. Nerdiest movie in your collection? Mm, there are tons of nerdy movies. Uh, Star Wars is obviously one of those. Jurassic Park, The Matrix, um, Toy Story. <laughs> It's actually over there. Um, it's not like a movie of mine. It's more of like a movie collection. But either way, definitely want to personally stash that away to call my collection. Transformers, I think, is another one. I don't know how nerdy that is, but it's still Transformers. Um, let's see. PlayStation, Xbox, or Wii. PlayStation all the way. I can never get the boot on my Xbox controller. I do find a good game, I put it on PlayStation instead of some other gear. Um, I saw a lot of good Xbox games. Well, I never really liked Halo. I don't, I don't understand what the addiction is with that game. Um, I don't find it too interesting. Gears of War, I guess I can make a slight exception, but even then it's just like, mm, it's alright. But, anyway. The Wii, I feels like it's outdated. Um, even at the time I played it, I felt like it was really outdated. I just, I just thought, you know, this is, this can't be the future of gaming. It's motion sims and all that, but I don't like it. Um, what is the biggest word you know? I don't know if this means the longest word you know, or just any word in general, and it's got a definition that people are just like, what? Like, I don't even know the definition of it, but I think I think it might be a definition more than like um but I don't know. I don't wanna spend too much time dwelling on that question. But I know it's one of your words. Um greatest nerd accomplishment. I don't know. I don't think I can think of one. I don't know what you would consider a big nerd accomplishment. Um, I've never won a science fair. <laughs> I'm not the biggest nerd accomplishment. But, um, oh, I know. Ha- not having a girlfriend for the longest time. Thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> but that's just a joke. I, I date him. The one time I did, it wasn't really. I don't want to say her name. Um, <laughs> there was no, there wasn't a big connection there, unfortunately. I, I guess we, we never really consider ourselves in a relationship anyway. Um, crap, what question am I on? Um, biggest nerd role model? If you consider past presidents nerds, I think I consider our older presidents nerds rather than the whole jock in the White House started 
late 80s, I think, and early 90s, maybe. Um, well, Teddy Roosevelt was kind of jocky. He was also a nerd, too. He was a good president, though. I liked him. Not FDR. I'm not... Don't get that mixed up. I can't stand it when people get FDR and Teddy messed up. Don't go there. I think Teddy meant it. Fuck that. Um, I think Abraham Lincoln uh, was probably one of my role models, I think. Um, I find myself to be a lot like him sometimes. Uh, not just, you know, physically sometimes. Like with the whole, you know, the height and the, you know, just sort of a connection with each other in a way. Uh, what fictional character did you fantasize about as a kid? Um, I don't know. Um, it depends on what kind of fictional character you're talking about here. If you're talking about from books and movies or what, if you're in movies and it's like live action or whatever, then you, you don't want to fantasize. <laughs> something? Yeah. I don't know too many that I really sort of stuck out to me. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. There's a lot of these questions I don't know the answers to. Friends or foes? Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I was the easiest person to make friends with. Um, like I was the easiest person that you could be friendly with. I was always friendly. I was always the nice kid and all this other stuff. But whatever. And in high school, it didn't really change too much. I just got angrier because people kept shoving crap in my face, and I literally didn't. Not telling a sob story here, like I don't care, but uh, it's just sort of how it all transpired. Um, but we had a group in high school that, you know, if you were nice to us, we were nice to you. It was simple as that, and that was always my MO. Was, you know, if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. Simple as that. I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what you know, what kind of person you are. I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi, whatever, tranny. I don't care. You're nice to me, I'm nice to you. Simple as that. It's a simple truth, my friends. If you're kind to others, it will be received unto you. So, we definitely had a pretty mixed bag of a group, you know. We had people of different religions, people of different, you know, creeds and different backgrounds and sort of different categories. Um, so, you know, old school big games or modern video games. I like old 8-bit games as well, uh, not school big games, old school games, I like Big Doug, sometimes I would play that one, um, it was called Space Invader I think, um, but obviously I love 3D graphic games, um, just because it's kind of cool to see how far video games has really become, you know, how far it's actually advanced, you know, going from Pong, where it's like these little things you do, 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 to something that's that looks exactly like a movie or like Beyond Two Souls or something, and seeing how amazing that games have really become. Uh, so, in a way, you sort of have to thank old school big games, anyone who made those, because they sort of paved the way for the people who have bigger and better games that we see today. So, I'd say both. Um, the movies pick up line. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of one. I'm horrible at pickup lines, man. <laughs> Can't think of a nerdy good one. 
I was trying to think of the one with like I was trying to think of one that could involve the periodic table because that's always a possible thing, but I can't think of anything. trying to say like urine and you like me and you know I mean <laughs> no I, I can't make it work I can't do it I'm not as clever as people on the internet even I've surfed the internet 24 7 <laughs> the nerdiest article of clothing you've ever owned <laughs> why you need to ask that slacks <laughs> I hated those but I wore them I don't know if that's considered a nerdy professional, but either way, I hated them. I hated slacks. Um, also, when I was a kid, I wore fucking sandals. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but, um, I guess t shirts. I wore a lot of t shirts when I was a kid. I think I definitely had a lot of Star Wars t shirts and Marvel Comics t shirts. I, I don't fit in them now. You have a random useless talent. <laughs> what is it? Surfing the internet. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, random useless talent. Um, I mean, I don't want to freak you guys out, but I mean, I can like move my knuckles. If you can see that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. People get freaked out by that for some reason, and also my thumbs like that. It's not really a talent, but it's just something that freaks people out. I don't know why it does, I don't know. But useless talent? Uh, I don't know. Um, random useless talent. I can't think of it. I don't think I can. I don't think I've really discovered myself enough to figure that out. Do you read the book before seeing the movie? Like sometimes if it's a series, I'll watch the first movie, and then I'll just read the entire book series if I like it. You know, I did that with the Hunger Games. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, all right, last one. Do you have any superpower? What would it be? Mm. That's the ultimate question, isn't it? What is superpower? <laughs> I don't want to say. I feel like humans have already accomplished the flying ability on planes. I mean, that's kind of boring, but flying? I want to fly all over the place. And I could teleport easier. I want to see this, I just want to get there. Um, <laughs> hmm. Invisibility would be okay, but Obviously, people won't see you in the road if you're crossing it, so that's, that's pretty bad. Um, I don't know. I know this is this is. I think there's a couple of powers that I would like. Um, one, I would like to just be invincible. I know it's kind of boring and generic, but I would. You know, I can basically just stand in one place forever, kind of like Superman, except he he has a weak and snipe. I'd like to also use my psychic powers. <laughs> I don't know. Like telekinesis and reading minds and stuff. I think that would be pretty awesome. Invincibility and telekinesis at the same time? Yeah. How much food is in your hand? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, that's my couple of superpowers. Let's see what else. I know this video might have been long. Hope you guys enjoyed, and 